Hi, and welcome to this week's episode of Did You Know? So this week we're gonna talk about year-round clubs, how to keep your youth engaged all year long, and why it's important to have a year-round club. So first of all, year-round clubs really fit into one of the key principles for positive youth development. So one of those um, principles is duration of programming. And in order for this program to reach positive youth development standards, youth have to attend a minimum of six club meetings a year. So we really want to shoot for eight to 10 club meetings a year. So we're not saying you have to meet every month. We understand in August, you're sick of all things Clover after fair, totally acceptable. Um, but we do encourage you to really plan for eight to 10 meetings a year. So what are you gonna do all year long to keep your youth engaged? Because most project areas don't necessarily have to meet all year round in order to be prepared and to be moving forward and progressing. So how do you integrate other things into your project areas and keep your youth engaged? So one way is developing the communications project and integrating that into each of the different project clubs that you offer. So the communications project includes things like presentations, educational displays, and even some team presentations and videography. So you can really take those different projects and integrate it into your current project offerings. So let's say you have a swine club and a horse club and a sewing club and maybe even a shooting sports club. With each one of those, you can encourage youth to do, maybe do, they do a demonstration on how to do quilting. Maybe they do a team presentation on their experience in their archery club this year. Or maybe they do a visual aid or an illustrated talk on how to fit and show their pig at fair. Um, there's also the videography option, so they could do you know a day in the life of and show what it's like to raise a market animal or work with their horse or teach, make a video to teach other members how to do showmanship. And each one of those things can then also turn into another competitive aspect as well. They don't, they can do it for just a presentation at their club or they could participate in the communications contest. So another way to really work with your project clubs outside of their traditional project bounds is through photography. Photography fits in so easily into almost every project area that we offer. Um, the, the youth can learn to take pictures of their animals. They can learn to take macro pictures um, of some different quilting or stitching techniques. And it, the options are really endless when you think about ways to integrate those two project areas. And so in your off months, not only can you be doing the community service piece and you can be doing um, your club business and preparing for the prop for the season where project meetings get really heavy and busy, but you can also be integrating these other project areas. So I hope this helps give you some ideas to pass the long winter months away. Um, if you have any questions or need help getting started or want some ide more ideas, please don't hesitate to call and ask. And of course, if you have any future ideas for the Did You Know episodes, go ahead and email me or give me a call and let me know and I can't wait to see what you come up with. And also I'm super excited. Hopefully this gets people more involved in the photography and communications areas so I can see all the great work that our youth are doing all year long. Thanks and have a great day.